Um, first of all, I want to say Eid Mubarak to everyone today. Um, so I'm Shamuna. I'm the project manager for Salute on the Cultural Exchange Program. This is Jay Kings. She's over here as well, playing, showing her skills. This was in Sheffield. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we just did a weekend trip, and so we're all kind of recovering from that. But um, so a little bit about Salute. Uh, JR over there, founder, CEO. You the weren't going to get away. The, the, the one hiding yeah. who made me do this. Yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, so it's founded in 2019. It's a creative charity for young people aged 5 to 25 from East London, um, from serving uh, marginalized young people. Ooh, trying to get it together. Um, uh, yeah, marginalized young people from under resourced backgrounds. And um, we provide creative pathways in music, multimedia, and fashion. And all the programs are free so that, so that they can access it. Uh, we also do bespoke mentoring for them. And uh, that's in like personal development, professional, and creative development. So just to talk about a little bit how we mentored our young people throughout the program, um, as it's a pilot project, it was really important for us to receive feedback. So what Tiwa was saying about the co-designing, as it's going along, because it's the first time it's been done, we were like, okay, how is it going? How are you finding it? What are you gaining? What are you finding difficult? What's the challenges? What can we support you with? So throughout every week, every session, we would have these one-to-one -one mentoring sessions to gain that feedback and then feedback to Lisa, Tiwa, and so then we can better serve the young people. So we're very flexible as we went along. So if they fed back, like, you know what? Two hours is a little bit long for us. So then we switched it up, and we were like, okay, and some people were coming from work, so we were very flexible with that. We were like, okay, let's start at 5.30, so we'll have a little bit of a catch-up at the beginning, let people arrive. So we did that as we went along. Um, and then what else we did in Salute for our young people, we did like one hour to three hours sometimes, depending yeah. on how much time we had, um, sessions outside of the sessions that we did with everyone else. And that was around, like, it was kind of like peer support, so each young person was able to kind of digest the learning from the session the week before and kind of give their ideas. Like everyone created a business plan, a business model canvas. So each young person got to share their ideas to our smaller team. And then we were able to kind of support one another, encourage one another, ask questions um, and give any feedback. And then I would mentor them one to one to kind of develop their business plans. So. That's how we did it throughout. Um, I'm going to pass over to Jay King to nah. talk about. I can ask you questions to talk about um, her she's experience. Not nervous. She's just. You know, I'm super nervous too, so we got there. this. Um, so yeah, just to talk about her experience as a participant on the program. Um, yeah. So yeah, over to you. I'm going to go through these notes that I've scrapped together in the past ten minutes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Come on. I can ask you Biggest questions. Biggest fan. You. My name's Jay Kings and I'm an artist and to be honest with you, I've only started calling myself an artist since I started working with JR and that's when I fully started delving into just becoming a music creator or just a creator in general. So that's something that Salute allowed me to just explore really and uh, I think a year into, an, just over a year into working with JR, he asked me to, well, he told me about the program. He said, is this something that would cater to you right now? And I said, yeah, definitely. Mm. So I just jumped on that. Anything that will make me better as a person, I would fully be invested in. What would you say was your biggest gain from the program? Obviously, people are going to say, yeah, I visited this city, and it was the people, the people, I loved it, the <coughs> environment, I loved it. And I did love it, but selfishly, on the last day of the trip that we just came back from, there was this tiny little globe. <laughs> if you were on the trip, you know about the globe, but I found this tiny little globe on the chair, and I was like, yeah, that was symbolic AF. I'm going to take that globe, fits right in my hand, and that's how I'm going to take everything in life. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so like, giant symbol, giant yeah. metaphor, and that was my, selfishly, my, my favorite part of the whole thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, cool. Did you find anything challenging on the program? No. No, it was good. What was the most inspiring part? Being around like-minded people, honestly. Because like, you can explore ideas that you wouldn't with maybe your normal circle of people. 
people that are there for the same reason as you, you get to actually talk about the things that you want to talk about. Yeah. You know? I would say, like, even though I wasn't a participant, um, <coughs> one of the biggest, like, cultural exchanges that I think I came away with is how privileged we are in London um, in regards to funding. So that was what we had a discussion on Saturday in Sheffield. And um, there are all, like, there's so many amazing facilitators and programs and charities that are doing great things, but they're all kind of trying to scrap for the same pot of money from the council, whereas we're so blessed, like, look at this, you know? So um, that was one of my biggest takeaways, yeah, that actually we're really privileged in London. So, yeah, cool. Thank you so much. Thank you.